Hi, so Pierre Besserill, thank you for joining us. You've just done a, a presentation here at Head in Madrid on the uh, alternative lodging, vacation rentals and hotels in Europe. Uh, your company, Transparent, is based here in Madrid. Um, tell us a little bit about, from your experience, where you sit, see the key differences between uh, uh, vacation rentals and, and hotels, especially around your area. One of the things we, we wanted to show the audience today is that uh, alternative accommodation can no longer be, be ignored and that differences are getting you know, uh, smaller and smaller. So you, know, you see lengths of stays are getting shorter and shorter, just like hotels. Uh, booking windows are getting more and more similar. The inventory type is also getting very similar. So a lot of apartments, a lot of you know, hotel-like inventory. So we think that you know, the frontier is getting thinner and thinner between both worlds. Right, right. And um, if the market keeps growing year over year, at what point do you see that the market will get saturated? Uh, we don't think it's going to get saturated, it's, it's just going to slow down. So we've already seen slowdown in some of the more mature markets. You know, the US and Europe has been growing a bit more, a bit less aggressively than, than previous years, but it's still like a 30% growth on inventory on the main OTAs, which is not, you know, neglectable. Um, we just think it's just going to slow down and align a bit more with the hotel, uh, hotel growth. Uh, you know, 60% of travelers consider uh, alternative accommodation as one way of, of uh, of booking their lodging um, when they look at a travel. So it's definitely something that is there, that is in everyone's mind, and that as you track your hotel competitors, we think you gotta track your vacation hotel competitors. Right, right.